Okay, so I'm on the dock today, and these arrived in the mail. These are from Cabela's. They are catfish, and uh, I'm assuming, I'm pretty sure this one's a uh, bass, like two bass lures. Because, like, you can kind of hear the hooks of the treble hooks. Oh, you know what this might be? This might be a, the set of catfish hooks, actually. I didn't think about that. I did slip, like, slip this open a little bit because I got excited, but yeah. I see something blue. So. I'll open this one first, save the biggest one for the last. I'm just going to wipe them yourself, too. I'll see it. Nope. Nope. I, uh, I'm, the blade of the knife hit my finger. Don't do that. Okay. It's open. I haven't seen it yet, so. Our travel hooks, there's also tubes. So, you can see the back a little bit better, maybe. And I've been waiting in the mail for so long for this. Uh, it was only two days, but it was so long. Anyway, so all it is is tubes, looks like travel hooks. So, Uh, oh, it's for catfish. They, okay. Oh, got two of those. Oh, we have a tackle beacon. These are... These are also catfish. I really like catfish stuff. And... You know, I might as well open it. So when I first saw these on the Cabela website, I was a little confused because I did I was not sure what this was, but so oh, these are the tackle beacons. So what it is is it's a sponge around a treble hook, but the line is going through this weird plastic not plastic rubbery thing. So what you do is you stick the catfish stink bait, which is probably in that that one, in these little holes when you dip it in. It also gets in the sponge too, I think. So cat, the catfish feed by smell. So he it like this, and he'll get snagged on the travel hook. And so that's those are the tackle beacons. Those are the most confusing catfish bait I've ever seen. These are hooks, and another, oh, so I think these are called dip tubes. Because th these things down there, they're called dip tubes, I guess they, they go on different lines. They're just pretty much hooks and some swivels, maybe three-way swivel in there, I'm not sure. Up here, the, here's the Rebel. This is a bass bait, actually. Um... There's more, we're not done yet. Still more. We have the other, okay, here's the other rebel bait, bass bait. So these are both top water. And I've kayaked out here in the morning. I got my first bass in the morning. So, and when I was, when I was just about to get the kayak out, just like right in the middle of the lake, there was, I keep thinking I hear a fish show. There was fish feeding the top. Um, it was like early morning, just turning bright. Um, fish would jump up, so that means they're feeding off the top. So this is what we, what you want to use when they're feeding off the top. So, 
these are they, those two. I want to say one's bigger than the other, but this one's the little fluffy thing on the end. Squirrel tail or something. Definitely bigger than this one. Small, smaller one. Uh, those are bass baits. Uh, everything else in here is catfish. So, I'm not going to open this because it has a seal and it's going to stink. This is catfish bait. But it, it oh, let me get a sticker off. So you can see it better. Oh. I hate when stickers do that, but anyway, so that's, you can see the sides. That's just chunks of capture bait. We got two of those. We got, <laughs> now I'm pretty sure they put this in a bag because these things stink like crazy. So, extra sticky. This one's cheese dip bait. So I guess it smells like cheese. This one is shad, so it just, uh, it just like goo, I guess. You put on the hook, get the smell it, so. And the final flavor, or smell, or smell, is, oh, another shad. Got two shads, and a cheese. Ah, oh, no wonder they put these in bags. I did not think it's, it stinked through the container. I'll just show you what it looks. Oh, that's disgusting. Looks like poo. Oh, it was. It's open. Oh, no wonder. Oh, that stinks. What is this? Oh, it's the shabby. I, I, so, ah, I don't even want to do it. Ah! Oh. 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 I want to eat this thing in the water. Oh, that's horrible. Oh. Put it back in the bag. I'm sure I've opened these bags. I was wondering why they put it in the bag. I can't do anything with this. Mm. Thank you, bag. I feel bad for you. <laughs> That's the end of it. So, let's go on a quick review. If I'm being honest, it smells like a dead fish poo. Rotten, rotten, molten cheese right now. <laughs> we should have took them out of the bags. So, here's the review. We have the two and the shovel hooks. Two humongous bobbers. Four tackle baits. Two rebels. AKA these things. Bass baits. 30, uh, 30. In conclusion, those are all my fishing baits that my grandpa ordered for me. Big thanks to my grandpa for ordering those for me. Um, subscribe if you want. Um, you can always unsubscribe. I guess I got nothing else to say. Funny thing, just as we were coming up, I saw a FedEx truck and it dropped off another package. And it has my name on it, so figured why not open it? Huh, more taco bit. Taco beacons. Even more. So that gives us up to eight, apparently. <laughs> Did not know I ordered these. And I don't think there's anything else in the package. So. What'd you get, Chris? 